research funding for atoxikine was cut by the Norwegian Ministry of Fisheries. And according to Kurt Odekalv, this decision may have been made under pressure from the Minister of Fisheries herself. She is also the author of the, 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 the food security system that's controlling the, the, the fish farm diseases. And uh, she controls the food authorities, she controls all things that has to do with fish farming in Norway. And she uses her power in a bad manner. So she gives them in order to take down this fish, this the, the disease, take it down from one to two, so we can sell the fish. So we don't lose money, we have to sell the fish. So they sell the fish that's infected and, and, and sick. And that's never been before. She is a rotten piece of, in this uh, story. To verify these accusations, I decided to speak with this minister. In Brussels, in the aisles of a trade show, I have an appointment with her for a five-minute interview. But the time allotted to me will be much shorter. The people at the NIFES, they say they're trying to do uh, some research about a substance called a toxiquid, but they say they don't have uh, money to do it. Are you going to, to fund some research about uh, toxiquid? Quickly, a communications officer puts an end to the interview. We've had many, uh, we've had I'm sorry, the interview is okay. Yeah, but uh, I couldn't ask all my questions, you know. No, but that's, that's how it is. Go on. Okay, go on. We have a very tight schedule, so... The minister does not wish to talk about intoxicine. She claims to know nothing about it. That's my question. However, if we take the time to check her CV, which is posted on the ministry's website, we learn that she worked for four years as a consultant for EWOS, the world leader in dry fish meal pellets, just before being hired as a consultant to the Ministry of Fisheries. Since then, she has held dozens of jobs in the salmon industry and has even led one of the main lobbies, the FHL, Professional Union. And, according to Kurt Odekalv, there is still some missing information from her impressive CV. All the management's authorities have their own interest in fish farming. She's only 8% of a big fish farm. And her director is only 20% of another fish farm. So this is what we call corruption. And this is like the Italian mafia. The accusation may be outrageous, but the facts are there, hidden by a simple financial arrangement. It was enough for me to examine the records of this company called JMJ Invest. The minister is the major shareholder. And JMJ Invest actually possesses more than 10% of a major Norwegian salmon farm, of which several other shareholders are members of the minister's family. <laughs> 